Nashukuru kwa sababu Anita amekuja kutusaidia ameleta pads cause kuna watu wengine hawezi kuleta pads shule. Kuna watu wametusaidia sana. Kuna watu wengine huwa wanatumia towels, wanatumia ni but ametusaidia itapunguza sana gharama kwa wazazi na itapunguza sana kila kitu kwa wazazi. Nashukuru Anita. Zina... Ani napenda sana Anet as in my camera of Kiangu na mshukuru sana sana sana. Today I'm happy because we have known much about hygiene like washing our hands. It is good to wash hands before eating because it is important when one don't wash hand before eating, one may get cholera and other diseases. We have known much about caring for our nails. I thought keeping nails was to be will make it as beautiful but today I've known it. Our nails should be short always and clean. What we do is provide sanitary towels for the girls and tissue papers in order to ensure their hygiene. This came up after we realized that most of them were using some uncooked means such as blankets, some were using mattresses and excess book papers because they didn't have the means of getting what they need to use. So basically I've provided for 80 girls and about 70 boys, but the boys I give them tissue papers, for the cards I give them three packets of pads and two rolls of tissue. We started this initiative after discovering that there are so many girls who stay out of school because they cannot be able to afford the sanitary towels and therefore to avoid the shame of being you know, ridiculed by the other student pupils, they opt to stay at home for about three, five days when they are having their periods. So we came up with the organization Restore Her Dignity try what we can to be able to assist the needy girls and both girls who are in school so that we can make sure they stay in school so that they can also be able to continue with their studies without any interruption which will impact very positively in their studies and of course in their future life whereby they'll be able to achieve very well in their academic performance and we're grateful for the people that have supported us and we are praying that there are many many people that are going to come on board and we're also going to support us in this project. Quite uh, grateful to this uh, Restore Her Dignity Foundation and uh, this girl Annette who thought about our school because most of our people come from vulnerable backgrounds. This one, this girl being class 8 is going to do well, so well with them because absenteeism is going to be a thing of the past.